Inspector? Professor Ross. Yes, of course. That little jewelry store robbery will be taking place in just about ten minutes. This better not be a false alarm. I assure you, Inspector, it will take place. Three notorious criminals. You'll want to catch them. All right, we'll look into the matter. Fine, Inspector. Good night, Inspector. Good night, Professor. Jimmy, listen to me. It would have been much better to blow off the door of the safe. And much easier. I return the jewels and suggest that you seek more modern and uh, more effective protection devices. Respectfully, Ross Simpson, University of Rome. You'll wake up the neighbors. What's the matter? Well, you know, Mama, how I try out practical experiments in the Fieldford University. 
somehow I prove that my criminal theories really work? Yes. Yeah. Spaghetti? Oh, thank you, Mama. Well, this time I had a perfect situation. Three crooks who should be in jail anyway. I pull a perfect double cross. The merchandise is returned and the theory is proven. So what's the problem? Look, thieves demolish a jewelry store in dead and robbery. <laughs> Those idiots use too much TNT. They destroyed the whole store. How can I admit I had anything to do with it now? I'll have to pay to rebuild the old store. Well, I guess I just have to keep the jewels. Only my son would be worried. Ravioli? Mama, you don't understand. These jewels are worth a quarter of a million dollars. That's bad. Oh, Mama. Oh, you listen to me. How long have I told you crime is like sex? You don't waste time writing about it, you do it. Look at you. You're a master criminal for a university. Criminologist, Mama. Ah, names, titles, what do they mean? What do you got to show for it? You write books. You're famous. But you don't make any money. Even what you steal, you give back. Oh, Mama. Imagine if you had just kept 10% of everything you stole. A little commission. Oh, Mama, you know that's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Why don't you really steal something for a change? Be a legitimate crook. What about your plan to rob Fort Knox? Have some pizza. Mama, the Americans are my friends. Some friends. If they were such good friends, they'd have given you back some of the gold. Oh, all right, maybe not Fort Knox. What about your other plan? Which one? What do you mean, which one? The greatest robbery in the world. The one in South America. In Buenos Aires. Oh, Mama, that would be too costly. People would have to be paid in advance. Many people. It would take a great deal of seed money to finance. More than a quarter of a million dollars? Maybe you've got something. <clears throat> well... Does anyone have anything to add on the subject? Susan? Well, well, I think it's a matter of ego, Professor. You've no doubt heard that behind every great man there's a woman. Uh, of course. Well, it's my contention that behind every master criminal there's a mother. Why don't you really steal something? Hmm. Well, uh, yes. Why not a brother? Or perhaps a father. No, no, there's always the possibility of a dormant sibling rivalry. Or, in the case of the father, hidden jealousy. No, I'd have to say it would definitely be the mother. What about Fort Knox? Um, yes. Well, perhaps. Angela, would you like to comment? Well, I quite agree, Professor. As you brought out in your book, Crime, Pays, and How, a criminal has a psychological need to discuss his crime with someone. And it's usually this person who betrays him. The master criminal would not make this mistake. He would discuss it only with his mother. So you see, Mama, I have to keep the jewels? Uh, yes. Well, oh, I see. We have come to the end of our session. Thank you, ladies. Class is dismissed. Party tonight. It's going to be 8 o'clock. Bye-bye. You're marvelous, Professor. Thank you very much. Boy, oh boy, Ross. You old son of a gun. Have you ever got it made? Why don't I get classes with all that talent? Has it occurred to you, Jones, that women are just not interested in screening the hypotenuse? Well... Anyway, that's lie. If you're not in a hurry, I thought we might have lunch together. Thanks. I am expected. In the dance room. Crime pays and how? It's easier to see and work for a living. Beautiful women make the best cooks. I ask you, gentlemen, how can we continue to tolerate this? That's all very well, my dear Dean, but may I remind you that this university is subsidized by the government 
and the government says he's too famous to fire. Besides, unfortunately, these books have become textbooks on criminology throughout the world. Yes, but it's just slander that's so damaging. I grant you. That's why I think Cunningham's suggestion is right. Let him write his next book. With the slant that crime does not pay. I don't think he'll go for it. Unless we make it attractive enough. What man in his right mind would turn down a one year's paid vacation in a beautiful villa, in a beautiful place, with a beautiful girl assistant, an unlimited expense account, a chauffeured limousine? So you see, Mama, I am leaving for Buenos Aires. <sighs> On the pretense of doing research for a book of criminology, <laughs> I take in a lovely villa in Buenos Aires. Ah. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to have assigned to me by the university a beautiful student. You're as lovely as ever. <laughs> I know what you like. I bet you hate being a prisoner, don't you? Correction. What a shame you have to be locked up all the time. A very beautiful student. Of course, she had no way of knowing that she was actually helping me to plan the greatest robbery of my career. Under me! Under me! Huh? Under me! Under me! Of course I have some Under me! You're so pretty. Ah, oh, dear. I won't hurt you. Don't be afraid. Oh. Oh. Something wrong? Uh, no, it's just that birds in cages make me sad. It's late. You should have been dressed by now. Five minutes. Good. Are you talking about its sales value or, uh, or its ornithological value? I just want to know the price of that parakeet, that's all. Don't call it a parakeet. It's a Melopsicatus variopintus. And it's perhaps the most interesting of all birds because of its hypocrisy. From the point of view of criminology, you yes, see... Yes, you told me all that, but um, its monetary value can be interesting, too. Uh -uh, that... Can you hand me those pants over there? Letitia, how many times I told you that it's not proper for a student to undress in front of her professor. What's the difference? You never look anyway. Um, that's not the point. Besides, you always say you think of me as a daughter. You can turn around now. But me up. How do you think the university would react if they discovered that I was potting up the student that they assigned me to work on my book? I am working with you. Yes, but you weren't supposed to live here with me. My landlady threw me out. I had nowhere else to go. Oh, Letizia, you're such a naughty girl. How would you know? What? The parakeet. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars? Sure. And the others are worth even more. That's why I wouldn't like it if anything happened to them. Oh, try and finish at the museum. I need at least. For the success of my plan, I would need access to the opera house. And as luck would have it, the prima donna was an old love of mine. I could have anything I wanted at the opera house. These files contain the records of all thieves, uh, uh, crooks, uh, 
murderers and armed robbery specialists at large today. Argentine criminals are very clever. The best in the world. Good. The records are at your complete disposal. Thanks. The situation was beautiful. I had the perfect opportunity to select from these confidential files the finest criminals in Argentina. There was, however, one small problem with my latest escapade. Hi. I would need not only experienced thieves, mm -hmm. but experienced thieves who were also musical. I had no way of knowing how difficult musical thieves were to find, but I was soon to find out. Go, on, Maestro. Sing. Sing. I don't sing. I steal. Sing. Les enfants de la patrie, jour de gloire est arrivé contre nous de la... Out. All right. Two more. Next. Not so rough. Sing. La donne mobile, quan più mal vento, muta da cento, e i pensè. La donne mobile, qual me ha vento, mu, 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 mu. Well, maestro, they are a bit nervous. It's understandable. Out, I said. Please, maestro, you'll be throwing them all out at this rate. I know they are not exactly prima donnas, but we must have someone for the job. Dwell with the job. I won't tolerate the art of singing to be profaned in this way. I'm Maestro Gonzalez. I've spent ten years in the conservatory. And five in jail for fraud. So don't be so damn noble. I like them. I resign. You'll continue with the examination. Until we get what we're after. I must leave. But I'll be watching you with the telecamera. How do you do? You got the key from Dr. Schwartz, huh? And you've come to ask about his excellence. Please, come in. Interesting. His Excellency sees an awful lot of me. I'm ready. But please don't hurt me. What do you want to know about the minister? Well, it's a delicate subject. You can speak in front of Tiny. He's been with me for years. He's a very old friend. And besides, he's innocent. He had a hunting accident when he was very young, and it left him harmless. In every way, if you know what I mean. Hmm? Now, the ambassador has a box at the Cologne Theater, number 15. You know, he loves opera even more than he does women. Uh, Saturday night is the gala opening of La Traviata. I must have his box that night. Well, that's like taking a baby from his mother. He never misses an opening. You'll have to miss this one. 
We'll meet tomorrow evening to go over the details. 7.30. Let's say 7.45. 7.30. Café de las Flores. You'll see a man there with three violets in his buttonhole. Follow him. Um... Can you really make that much? Ah, uh, you can. With your looks. Why? dollars be in good enough taste? I took these pictures. I didn't think it was Helene. I'm sure you have all been wondering what the job will be. I think now is the time to tell you. Well, what? This is our objective. Uh-huh. The opera house. That singer, not bad. The Cologne Theater. Uh. We are simply going to pull off the most sensational job of the year. No. The Cologne is the haven of lyric opera. It would be a sacrilege. A sacrilege that would give us a profit of $10 million. Uh -huh. That's over a million apiece. Exactly. This was the opening night of AIDA. There was a capacity audience, as there will be at next week's opening. Of La Traviata, which means a capacity audience of 2,850. The wealthiest people in Buenos Aires. Like a Christmas tree. You're right. 2,850 Christmas trees, full of presents, all for us. Well, what do you say? Gentlemen, the professor has told me his plan. Brilliant. It's most brilliant. Brilliant or not, it's dangerous. I want a, a, a deposit or I won't, won't, won't move. I'm a professional. Jose is right. $10,000 by tomorrow or none of us go. All right. Well, the men. Let's get down to work. We'll pull the job during the second act of La Traviata. Magnificent. It's so romantic. Gentlemen, meet your Jack. Maestro Gonzalez, Antonio, Claude, Jose. As I was saying, we make our move during the second act of La Traviata. And this is where you'll train. The job will require clockwork precision. Therefore, you are required to know the complete score, backwards and forwards, in order to keep pace with the music. Maestro? Maestro? Come on, to work. 
We have no time to lose. All right, second scene, gentlemen. Second scene, hey, what's oh, the second scene? All I can scene? say is the harmonica. <laughs> Letitia! Mm. Letitia, mm. what's happened? Mm. What have they done? Mm. Who was it? Tell me. Oh, yes, of course. Mm. Well? Oh, no. eh? They tied me up. I didn't know they were going to let the water out. No, were for this. But who? I would have drowned. Who did it, Letitia? I don't know. There were three men. Three? Yeah. What did they want? Uh, they were looking for you. For me? I'm a safe. The safe? Huh. As usual, they used to match TNT. You know who they are? They robbed the jewelry store in Rome, and I was responsible for their arrest. The police didn't find the jewels, so they couldn't hold them for long. We'll have them under arrest no, again. No, 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 no. I'll take care of it later. Well, what if they come back? Don't be afraid. I'll see to it that you are never left alone. Uh, ah. By the way, would you please explain this to oh, me? Do you like it? Do I like it? <sighs> you should be ashamed of yourself, Letitia. But I did it for the parakeet. <laughs> well, that takes the price. Some girls do it to get in the movies. Some for money. But she does it for both. I am not a moralist, but there is a limit to everything. I can't see anything wrong with buying a parakeet. I'm posing you for money. Do you think that's honest? I did it for you. Is that dishonest? What? Oh, yes, yes. Sure. Professor, I think that you're jealous. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It's just a matter of good taste. Mm -hmm. You mean that you'd have felt like this with uh, any student that you'd worked with? Of course. Where are we? At Mar del Plata. Come on, Letitia. We just have time to get tested for the casino. The robber has left me in an embarrassing position. I am in the middle of an important business transaction, and it funds by tomorrow. Here. Thank you. Is this the way you raise money? But of course. Come. Hey, teacher, I shouldn't be long. This will give you something to do while you wait for me. What do I do? You never played before? <laughs> It's it. Just put one of these on one of those numbers. And if the little ball lands on your number, you win. That's all? That's all. Just bet one chip at a time. They will last longer that way. Okay. What was that you just bet on? Black and red. You bet on which color will come up. Oh, seems easier than the numbers. Hey, you 
won a lot. I bet four, I won four. What you bet you win? Les jeux sont faits, rien ne va plus. 28 noirs, père et pas. Huit noirs, père et mort. Vingt-deux noirs, père et pas. Onze noirs, père et mort. Got to get to know you. I won. Quatre noirs, père et mort. Trente-cinq noirs et père et pas. Dix noirs, père et mort. Dix-sept et noir et père et mort. Quinze noir et père et mort. Faites vos jeux, messieurs. Et je s'en fais. Vingt-deux en plein cheval et carré. Très. and superstition. Are you mad because I won and you didn't? No. It's just that I can't stand to see a woman gambling. It's unbecoming. I can't even look at But one. I did it for you. Especially when she wins. First you pose nude for me. And now you gamble for me. Do you think I can use this filthy money? If I keep it... It's just to give it to charity. No, no, no. I can understand being off key, but this is too much. Nein, nein. These scoundrels are infantile. I quit. Please, Maestro. It's only necessary to keep time. I know, but these gentlemen are doing a different offer. I can't follow any longer. Come on, we'll start again from... All right now, man. Back to work. Yeah. <laughs> there. Now, gentlemen, we'll run over the scene of the departure. Flora and Violetta start. Neco te vidi narami, qual novità vi dio. Alfredo, play. Now, Alfredo. Quattro ancora hai vinto. Fortuna nell'amore. Fortuna nel gioco. We'll have an early dinner together, and then you shall be my guest at the performance. You said I could have your box Saturday. I said we'd talk about it. I'm sure another night will be done. Saturday night. Oh, Chad, it's 
quite impossible. I haven't missed an opening night in ten years. Yes. It's one of my duties to be there. And besides, La Traviata is my favorite opera. Really? Well, would you like to see my version? Your version? Sure. I know it all by heart. I'll show you my Camille number. <laughs> I feel hungry. I need some rest. Hmm. His Excellency needs some rest. I don't think the Russian envoy would enjoy the De La Traviata. Uh, arrange for him to see... Or is good enough. So your little parakeet friend came back? Yep, there he was, sitting on top of his cage this morning. And now we have two Melopsicatus Varipintus. Ah, Letizia, ask the director to give you a diagram of the cellar too. What? The cellar was used as a prison on Argentine jail. Bye-bye. So long. What is it now? The mitros run off. We had a crisis. Maestro had gone berserk. Unable to stand the terrible singing, he was making a run for it, threatening to turn us in. We had to catch him. He's liable to kill himself. Maestro! Maestro! Wait, Maestro! Come back! We'll sing better! <laughs> the prodigal son. Thank you. Gentlemen, I've been persuaded to overlook certain of my prejudices about Bel Canto, so if you'll be good enough, please. Scene of the robbery. Listen to the conductor. That's oh. evil's purpose. Oh, Victor, I'm so aggravated. The conductor is incompetent. And the tenor thinks he's Caruso. I feel like walking out on the whole thing. And I feel you should invite me to dinner. 
You've been neglecting me these last few days. Tomorrow evening, after the premiere, then we'll celebrate your success. All right? All right. Professor? I'll call for you. The Carmelite Convent. Excuse me. One of those charities. Yes. You know. Yes. Hello, Pew, sir. Good work. He's got a special machine connected backstage to this box. Something the Germans invented, some secret weapon. We'll be borrowing some electricity from your machine. Thanks. Hello? Yes? How are you, sister? Sister is exhausted. That's how. I haven't been out of this room for six days. But you'll be pleased to know that I've got the box for you. Excellent, sister. Excellent. Everything is to remain the same. Don't you worry. I've arranged to be here with him for as long as he would like. <laughs> Cut it out, Pancho. <clears throat> My uncle calling long distance. To hell with your uncle. <clears throat> it's back to work. Bye. Perfect. Good girl. You've made a really complete catalog of the museum. Thank you. Now, can we go to dinner? I'm sorry. As soon as we finish our drinks. Just one more minute. I'm taking you to a really special place. The best food in all Buenos Aires. Can we dance there, too? But of course. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, he sure is built. Poor tiny. Where'd you find him? He was loaned to me by a close friend of mine. We tiny around, no one will dare to touch you when I'm not here. No one will touch me, hmm? Does that include tiny? Whatever do you mean, Letizia? Aren't you afraid he might make a pass at me when you're not around? Oh, no. Impossible. How can you be so sure? Well, uh, call it intuition. Shall we go? Okay. Um, excuse me. Hello. What? You can find yourself another Violetta. Mr. Enzi, if you please. I've got Mr. Simpson on the line for you. Oh, at last, someone who well, understands. This doesn't go on like this, Robert. Quick. Oh, yes, perfectly. Only, what is it? I understand. But I say it's a hasty decision. No, 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 no. Something head. terrible is happening to me. Boys. Ah, now, listen. We left dinner, and we will work everything out. Wonderful. Don't you worry. Hey. That table was for us. Yes, I know. But there has been a complication, and... Uh... Who are you talking to? A girl? Of course not. Don't be silly. It was the publisher of my book. There seems to be a problem with the publication rights. Well, I must go. Will you come back for me later? No, the meeting will take some time. I have time to fix you something. I'll take you out tomorrow night, eh? Victor! Now, wouldn't you prefer a swim with me than a, than a no business meeting? Signora, if you want me to, I will. But I think there's something you ought to know. Hello? Who is this? Oh, it's you. I know he's not around. But you can find him at the Piccadilly. Are you sure of that? If you're lying, we'll be back. And this time, we'll drown you for good. <laughs> I want to thank you. 
not just for myself, but uh, on behalf of Mr. Bilbo. A traviata without you would be meaningless. I'll do it only for you. And if you'll stay near me, I'll be the greatest traviata in all history. I couldn't ask for more. No. We're looking for someone. You want to leave already? Yes, it's too crowded here. All right. 7.50, sir. Keep Thanks. the chair. May I? Let's go. for just a moment. They are having dinner. I'll be right back, excuse me. Well, if it isn't the professor. What happened? An accident? Yes. With the police. The night you double-crossed us. <laughs> Chief. Enter the sewers that run from the cellar of the museum and make your way to the Cologne Theater and keep strictly to the schedule. Here's the diagram of, 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 of the cellar. 
Professor? Oh. Professor, we're entering the, 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 the cellar now. From now on, you won't be able to communicate by radio. Any questions? Everything for, for, for fine. Then good luck. Schnell. <laughs> We're here. If we want to get to the other side, we have to break through at this point. Achtung! Break through the gate! Waiting for you, incompetent doom cops. Come, come. The counter spaghetti eaters. Blockhead. Still, still. the mirror. Install the mirror in the roses. <laughs> Magnificent decoration. Yes, it's a real treat. Are you sure we won't be flooded? Give me a hint instead of sitting up there doing nothing. What do you mean, doing nothing? Mm. We'll go over the score again. The professor told us to practice up to the last minute. Oh, see. Scene of the Torero. Strange. 
Hey, what's going on? That's La Traviata. It is La Traviata. But it starts tonight at night. Something funny's going on down there. Hmm. Gentlemen, we have five minutes more. And in five minutes, the bare highest the water can get is... Here. Dynamite. Uh, here. That's above my head. I want to get out of here. I can't swim. I can't uh, swim. No, Let no, me out. No, I want no, to get no, out of here. Let me out. I can't no. swim. And that concludes our program of light music. Sound of tone, it would be exactly 16. You call this taking a breath of fresh air? It was so nice in bed, too. Even the Lord took a rest on the sixth day. Servants. Otherwise, all of Buenos Aires will hear the explosion. Silence! Gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the Cologne Theater. This fireproof door leads to the course artist's changing rooms. We shall go in, yes. in three hours, yes. when the opera begins. Hmm? Why oh. then? The chorus will be on stage then, hmm. and the dressing room will be empty. Gentlemen, break for lunch. Hi, <laughs> very important social occasion, ladies and gentlemen. A magnificent audience is pouring into the Cologne Opera House. The theater is marvelously decorated with thousands of places.
do we do? Don't move from there. This time you won't fool us. This time you may be sure, boys. I'll play both. I have my private plan. Look, you're in for a cut of the profits. Now you have to trust me. I'll be back in a few minutes and then we'll go. Go where? Gentlemen, have you ever been to the opera? I'd like to send a telegram. To whom, sir? Minister de Flores, Patagonia Avenue. Telephone 73-77-787. Urgent. Here is the message for you. What's he doing in there? Thought he was in such a hurry. <laughs> X5. X5? Yes. Code number. That's all. We'll take care of it, sir. Thanks. He liked it. Mmm, <laughs> it's beautiful. Well, are you ready? Ready? Ready for what? Dinner. You said last night that you'd take me out tonight. Oh, Letitia, I am very sorry, but it's impossible. What? Please forgive me. I forgot I have something to do. Oh, I bet you do. Letitia, wait. Letitia, Letitia, what's the matter with you? I'll tell you what's the matter with me. I saw your publisher last night. Letitia, Letitia, wait. And for a man, he sure was too funny. Oh. Uh, 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 stop. How dare you behave like this to your professor? Letitia, I can explain everything. You could never explain to me why you left me for to go to dinner with that that half baked cream and Mr. Letitia, I swear on my honor, it was only a business deal last night. Okay, okay. Then what are you doing tonight? That's so important, huh? I'm going to the opera. Can I go with you? Hmm? Well, yes. Oh no, no, Is no, no. How much you singing tonight? Huh? As a matter of fact, it's true. <laughs> How do you dare? <laughs> I am your professor. Hurry up. Get in. Close the door. I hope we didn't disturb your private life. <laughs> Letitia! Bye-bye. Arrivederci. 
<laughs> we take all the risk and Professor takes most of the profits. No, 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 he doesn't. I've talked to the others and they're all in agreement. The Professor's out. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. A telegram. Don't bother me. I'm on a goodwill tour. The roses will bloom tonight. What does that matter to me? Tell to the gardener. It is a coded message from X5. It means that the dollar will be devalued. Ah. By 10%. What? Huh? Ambassador, please. Hello, Manis of the Flores. What? The grape vine says 10%? It will be at least 20%. I know those damn Yankees. Devalue by 50%, certainly. Maybe more. By 70%? By the Western economy is going to be ruined. My savings, my rubles. But before informing the president, check with the American embassy. We've tried, but there's no answer. Saturday. successfully removed the president and his most unwelcome police escort before the end of the intermission. My plan could now continue on schedule.
Okay. I've never enjoyed anything so much. Steal some electricity. Then you'll see what happens. would be pumped out. But people hide it, you know, idiots.
again. You, you've tricked us. <laughs> Idiots. You thought you were so clever. I timed them perfectly. I have one more canister than you.
Good night, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to give you the latest bulletin on the incredible robbery at the Cologne Theater. The exact cause of the great sleep in which 2,850 spectators woke up early this morning, completely stripped of their possessions and valuables, is not known yet. The only explanation so far was given by police medical authorities. They suggested that an excessive lack of hydrogen in the air could produce a surplus of oxygen, causing giddiness and eventually exhaustion and sleep. This might explain the presence of a peculiar device attached to the air ventilating system, something like a pump. Here. Come on. Take it. Wait your turn. Blah. Yes, I know. But it will make you feel better. You have to get up now. You must get rested, teacher. Come on. Your plane leaves in two hours. Plane? But I was at the opera, wasn't I? What happened? You passed out at the opera during the second act. You caused, uh, you caused quite a confusion. I did? Fortunately, I saw you and brought you home. You have to hurry. The plane won't wait. Please don't send me away. I'm not sending you away. It's only for a very short time. Understand? I have a small cottage in Switzerland, just outside Zurich. A place to forget about criminology. You mean I have to go alone? I join you there. It's just for a few hours. Then we'll be together? As long as you want. Sorry, but we've been ordered to check all passengers departing from Buenos Aires tonight. I know, I know, but it has to do with the robbery that took place at the Colón Theater. But I missed my plane. Please. Excuse me, miss. I think I can help you. Oh, thank you. Could I have your passport? Here it is. It's only for a minute. All her baggage has been checked through, except for a dozen parakeets. Parakeets? What are they called? Uh, I don't know. You know an apologist? Oh, yes. Do you have your clearances? Mm, yes. Shot yes, record? Very good. All she in order. goes in. Thanks. Have a good flight. Your attention, please. Well, well there you are, Miss Ornithologist. If you like, I'll escort you to your plane. Thank you. Thank you. Boarding on flight 226. Thank you. Thank you. 
Victor! Victor! Cecilia! <laughs> the bird! The bird! The king! The bird! The bird! The bird! They're free! But they're finally free! The bird! My bird! Oh, <laughs> 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 